question is 60 men complete a work in 25 days, one man starts working at it and thereafter one more man joins in every day. In how many days the work will be completed? The question is from Infosys. This question has come in Infosys. And this is a time order problem or a work and concept problem. This is a time order problem or a work and concept problem. Simple one. So what happens is, you have to convert a work done as work done in a single unit. Uh, see for example, if one person working in, can finish a work in 10 days, one person can finish in 10 days. Can finish a work in 10 days. So in one day, you will do one by 10. Output, this is the output, 1 by 10 is the output. If you can finish the work in 10 days, 1 day's output will be 1 by 10. One person can finish a work in 10 days, 1 day's output will be 1 by 10. So always convert a one as one in a single unit. But whenever a group of people are working, whenever a group of people are working, it is you presume that each one does the same amount of work daily and your every sum will always be man will take man days. Man into days, man days. It will be in terms of man days. Similarly, woman into days, woman days. Woman days. Or machine days, whatever you call it. Machine into days, machine days. Machine into days, machine days. Your units of work always in terms of man days, woman days, machine days like that. You have to convert your units of work. So what happens is here 60 people can do a work in 25 days. Total amount of work required is 60 into 25. 60 into 25 will be 1500 man days is required. 1500 man days of work is required. 1500 man days of work is required to complete the work. 1500 man days of work is required. So complete the work. 60 to 25 will be 1500 man days of work is required to complete the work. So, if uh, because 60 women are present to be working equally, so one man will require 1500 days. One man will require will require 1500 days. So one man in one day. One man in one day, in one day, will do one by thousand five hundred. Output. Okay. One man in one day will do one by thousand five hundred. Now, what happens is one person starts work, and every day one more person is getting added. So on the first day, on the first day what will happen is, so first day it will be one man doing one by thousand five hundred. One man will be doing one by thousand five hundred. On the second day what will happen is, so one more person will join him. So it will be another one by thousand five hundred. So it will be two by thousand five hundred. Then 3 by 1500, like that will go on, like that will go on. So uh, for your alternate is always 1, your alternate is always like 1500 by 1500 will be equal to 1. Because 1500 man days are coming in terms of man days, so the work done will always be 1. So what will happen is, you will have to total this summation of 1500 denominator is not going to change. 1500 denominator is not going to chain, so you will do the summation of this. So summation, I will have to get 1500 to 1500 to make it 1. So n into n plus 1 by 2, n into n plus 1 by 2 will be equal to 1500. Now you will have to get what is n and what is n plus 1. You will have to get what is n and what is n plus 1. You will have to do it like this. So n plus 
n n in simple number to that is formula of summation of first n numbers so will be n into n plus 1 by 2 will be equal to 1500 so n square plus n will be equal to 3000 n square plus 1 will be equal to 3000 or n square minus n sorry plus n minus 3000 will be equal to 0 you will have to find out what is n you will have to find out what is n now this 3000 has to split into two numbers which is a product of two numbers which is not that possible to do it this is not that possible to do it now because it is n and n plus 1 think of some number where if two joint numbers are very close with us think of two numbers because it is n is the number of days here it is n plus 1 will be equal to 3000 think of two numbers where it is nearer to 2000 because it is not going to be a perfect fraction it is not going to be a perfect fraction n cannot be so what happens is you will have to how many days are required so let us solve for n the formula is minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a root of minus 4ac divided by 2a so minus b will be 1 plus 1 plus or minus b square 1 plus so it will be minus b is 1 plus or minus root of b square is 1 into 4 plus sorry minus 4 into 3000 minus 4 this will become plus into 3000 so divided by 2 so this will be you have to apply it and get your end you have to apply this and get your end get your fraction so the other way of doing it is See here find out the number of days, find out the number of days closer to this. Here the other way of doing n and 10 plus 1 should be equal to 3000. n and 10 plus 1 should be equal to 3000. So 50, somewhere 60 into 59 is more than 3000. 60 into 60 is 3600. So it will be somewhere closer to 50 or 55 or something. So what I do is I will take it as 55 because n and 10 plus 1 by 2 should be equal to 3000, n and 10 plus 1. 55 into 56, I will check for 55 into 56, which will be easy. So if it is coming to 3000, it is fine, but it will not come to 3000. So after 55 days, so we'll have, let me check what happens. So 55 into 6 will be 330, 33 calculated. So it will be like this 56 into 55. 56 into 55 will be 3080. So he is not doing the work in 54 days. He is not doing the work, he is not taking 55 days. Because I have taken n to be 55, when I do n to 55 and 56, it is exceeding 3080. I want a what is only 3000. So it will be less than 55. So check for 54. 54 into 55. 54 into 55. So what happens is 5 fours are 20, 2 carried over, 5 fours are 20. 2 carry over, this will be 270, again 270. So this will be 2970. So after 54 days, after 54 days, the work done will be 2970 divided by 3000. The work done is 2970 divided by 3000. What is remaining is 30 by 3000 is remaining. 30 by 3000 is remaining which is nothing but 1 by 100 will be remaining 1 by 100 will be remaining so 1 by 100 is remaining now this 1 by 100 has to be done on the 55th day divided by 55 by 1500 divided by 55 by 1500 because on the 55th day 55 will work so each one is 1500 by 1500 so 55 by 1500 the 1500 will go up so it will be 1500 will go up so it will be 1500 divided by 100 into 55 100 into 55 so this will get cancelled so by 5 this will be 3 and 11 so the answer is 54 days 54 days and 3 by 11 of it in how many days is the question in how many days work will be completed it will be 54 days and 3 by 11 of it you will solve this, it will not be exactly 54 and 3 million, but here if you do it, because you are finding out on 55 days the work is more, on 54 days the work is less, so 
on the 50th day it will be 59 by 100, whereas here we are going to solve it. Might be getting a lesser number than 55, but it will be in fractions which is different than this. The answer is 54 days and 3 by 11 of day. It is 54 days and 3 by 11 of day. Little bit working problem is there, but probably the time is there, you can definitely do it. If it is, when you are writing a computer examination, allocate a time suitably. Some questions might be taking some time, sometimes will be faster. So do your faster ones first, then do the slower ones later. So that at least you will not miss your questions. Subscribe to my channel. I will be adding questions every now and then. Wish you all the best.